Hi everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for today, Divine Dabblings, and this is Oberon's Outlook on the Emotional Exchanges. It's my Friday show for the week, and it is about the emotional relationships that are coming to us, the energies, what we can do about them, what, why they may be more important than it seems. And I do that for the elemental signs of the zodiac, and I'm using the tarot deck, the modern Love Tarot by Ethany, artwork by Lucy Morningstar. Beautiful deck. So we're going to get started right away. And I do a pre-shuffle so I don't have to worry too much about how well it shuffled, but I am shuffling it again. And basically this sign begins with, or this reading begins with the air signs. Air signs are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, not necessarily in that order. I guess it's been a long day, eh? So, of course, there are three cards and three questions. And the first card will tell us what basically is the energy or vibration that is coming to you, emotionally speaking, in terms of relationships, that kind of thing. So I'm going to make my cut up there. All right. What is the energy, the emotional thing that is coming towards you? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is upright. So there's something really flirtatious happening. There's something sort of um, an idea about confidence moving forward, perhaps on a relationship or an emotional situation, if nothing else. You may feel you really are going to be exerting your charm factor um, using your usual sense of confidence or charisma whatever you can find is what's going to work for you um, you just feel like this is something you really want to manifest in terms of emotionality why is that important air signs it's the two of wands it's upright also and the two of wands i guess this may be something that really feels like it's it's sort of a, a destiny for you. It's it's an accomplishment of of uh, feeling like you have satisfied a particular you know question about a relationship or a situation that maybe embroiders upon that. So of course, for people who are already in a committed or married or whatever kind of relationship like that. This could mean something else. This could mean, you know, the usual taking it to another high, higher level. They could be saying that maybe there's something manifest going on in other people's relationships that are particularly close to your own, so like your children or siblings or something like that. But that's why it's important. It's really about achieving a sense of, of uh, a destiny, uh, a real perfection in a way, emotionally speaking. So... Where will this ultimately lead to? And interestingly, it's the Eight of Wands reversed. And so it feels like there's a lot of energy that's expended in this, in this thing here and that you may feel like you're not really making that achievement that you want or that you're finding. It really will engage you so much that you, you may feel like you have to let it go. Or you may feel you'll have to revisit it later when you feel you've been retuned. So it's kind of interesting, air signs. It feels like bam, 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 like there's something that really motivates you to put your charm factor into high gear. You feel like you are rounding the corner on a sense of a great accomplishment in terms of emotions. But ultimately where it leads to is maybe there's a sense of frustration or a feeling like you didn't really hit your mark. So uh, that's what I have for the air signs. Until next week, we'll have to see. You know, it just sort of doesn't look like a great scenario for the air signs. We're going to move on, though, to the fire signs. Could just be, you know, the stars. We are really close to Mercury going retrograde. So I would not be surprised if that's a big part of the culprit going on here. But at any rate, the fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. 
So as they say, this one's for you. We'll ask that same set of questions. Starting with our first one. And the first one is what emotion, what essence, what vibration seems to be coming towards you in this week ahead? Fire signs. It's the Three of Pentacles. So strongly, this sort of feels like maybe you, um, from an emotional point of view, you sort of have figured out a way to really utilize the best energies or resources you have. Um, maybe this isn't necessarily about a relationship or about romance, but it could be about some sort of other kind of networking situation where you're finding you have a, a sense of certain partners to work with. And so that's what's happening here. Um, but you're putting your love into it clearly. And you feel like, you know, this is really going to be something that you can really achieve something noticeable, something distinct. So why is that important if, if not enough there? Uh, uh, how do I interpret that? It's the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Why is it important? Maybe this is about, you know, combating. Um, fire signs have a feeling of anxiousness about some relationships. Maybe there's abandonment syndrome somebody's going to leave you or or maybe you know you're you're feeling alienated in your emotions and so this essence of trying to build up and it's a network so it's a sense of relationships um is important because maybe you're just feeling like you know there's too much anxiety going on for you right now and you really need to find your kindred souls your tribe where will this lead to it's not <laughs> I'm sorry it's death reversed and so there's a sense of some inertia going on here as if like maybe it's going to take longer than this current week or so. This may go on for a while, but there's a feeling here that things just really are not going to change despite these energies or vibrations coming to you or that the change is going to be really hard to totally embrace and, and bring in as a working practice. You know, the idea of, you know, tackling your your anxieties. So fire signs, you may find that this week doesn't feel um, really great either. It's kind of like you could get together with the air signs and talk about that. So sorry. Emotionally speaking, this doesn't seem to be the right week for either the fire or air signs. So we're going to check out the water signs now and see what's going on. Water signs are Cancer. Scorpio and Pisces. So we will ask, you know, those same questions. We'll try to get a sense of whether or not, um, like I said, maybe there's just something else going on that's causing this. I don't know. But for the water signs, we are again asking, what is that essence or vibration? What is that emotional spirit or thing that's coming towards you? And uh, good call. It's the King of Wands. So the King of Wands suggests, you know, bravery and mastery, sort of like finding confidence and feeling like you can move towards your conquest or towards the completion of your goals or the the mastery i think i said that already of of what it is you're you're trying to succeed with and of course since this pertains to relationships you know it really seems like you know there's there's a sense of gaining confidence after maybe not having had it or just really feeling like um something feels really important for you to do now on that emotional level. So it, it may not be about a relationship or what you can do for a relationship or, or something connected to that in a way. 
Why is that important, water signs? It's the Empress reversed. And the Empress reversed will more often, especially in this case, talk about the self-care things we need to do to help ourselves um, and to feel better about ourselves. So this whole thing may be really the aftermath of a different kind of situation. It may not be about breaking up of a relationship, but maybe a change or in a status quo in a certain way. And that you understanding that you have your, your own stuff to take care of and to make yourself a better person, maybe by giving yourself that self-care that you need. So where will it lead to, water signs? Uh, it's kind of funny because in each case it seems like you're doing so well and then something says, well, not exactly. And here we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Where this will lead to could say that there is some emotional baggage that's still lingering and maybe there's some sense of feeling like you, you're just not really, you're not balanced emotionally, water signs, which is hardly unusual, okay? <laughs> I'm not looking at any of you in particular. I'm a water sign myself. But this could be saying that maybe you have a different set of expectations on how you feel you demonstrate you're taking care of things and how other people may really look at that and say, is that important for you to do that now? And maybe people feel that you're not doing enough to emotionally reconnect with them. So I'm going to leave it at that for the water signs. And then finally, um, we'll move on to the earth signs. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's up? So, earth signs, what is coming towards you, emotionally speaking? And it's a different queen. It's the queen of pentacles. Earth signs, uh, you know, the queen of pentacles is a lot of times she's similar to the empress. Um, so, it could be saying really what's coming to you is the feeling that you too have to work with your own creative energies and figure out... Um, what you can do to help yourself, really, in a way. Um, it's not really talking about a relationship that you either have or will have. It's really talking about you doing for yourself. So that's what's coming to you is maybe that sense of finally having that time or finally having that energy or the resource level to do that. Why is that important? Eh, again, we get that Nine of Swords. So it's important, I guess, because... You two earth signs maybe have been having some anxiety issues about where things are going emotionally speaking. Uh, maybe that precipitates the idea that you two have also decided it's better to work on me issues now and not on the relationship or about being even uh, emotionally interested in my relationship or another relationship. So... Work on that, and then finally, where does this lead to? And I guess it's better than the water signs or the other signs. It says six of swords upright. You know, you're just going to find your way. You're going to move uh, over the troubled waters towards what works better emotionally for you. A lot of this is really about maybe once again instilling in yourself a sense of, you know, I'm the important person here, and I need to move away from that to move towards that. So I like that, of course. I'm going to leave it at that for the earth signs. And that completes the reading, but uh, as per usual, I'm going to do the affirmation for all of us, a collective affirmation, and I just do this with, with love in mind. So let's go to it. And the affirmation is, again, from the Universal Love Oracle set.
And I'm just going to pick one at random. Ooh. Creativity. Creative energy is stirring within you. Your soul desires to express itself. It asks that you tap into your feelings and begin to express them. Explore your true nature through a creative pursuit. Be it painting, dancing, writing, gardening, music, or craft. Creativity can be expressed in so many ways. You, along with every other living thing upon this planet, are filled with creative energy. Creativity is not a gift that is bestowed only upon some. Everyone is creative. Try it and discover its healing and magical power. So that's the emotional exchanges for this week, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to watch uh, our happy hour live stream tomorrow. Uh, that's going to be at 10 o'clock. And, of course, uh, Banshee Show, The Material Matters, is Sunday morning, also 10 o'clock. That's pre-recorded, but we are live in the chat room to talk through that one. And then, of course, our regular live stream on Sunday afternoons from 2 to 4 p.m. And thus, another week begins. So um, who knows what that will bring. But we'll see you next time on Oberon's Outlook for the Emotional Exchanges. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.